Good idea as well. I've got some of the tape head here. The trick you can do, you can use these to read uh, magnetic strips on old credit cards and stuff. And um, you can use these to pick up magnetic, or oh, EMI, electromagnetic interference, other magnetic fields coming from routers, microwaves, smart meters, uh, mobile phones. So let's put this sort of thing together. Get a line input cord. This old cord here, which I use as an input cord for that valve amplifier. So. We've got three wires I'm going to solder to this head. I might have to do some experimentation here and be careful not to damage the head while I'm soldering it. I've got to get myself a decent soldering station, I think. So I've got to finish off fixing that eight, uh, Yamaha receiver, but I've got to get a decent uh, soldering iron first, not this one. This, this is just nothing but a circuit board destroyer. Once or twice the small job, it's all right, but. For major repairs, this thing wrecks circuit boards. So, I've got to get a proper soldering station. Uh, let's see, I think one would be left and right channel. And one's a common for the amplifier, the pickup circuit. I might have a run that over some hard drive um, platters. But um, the ones I've got off dead hard drives have been formatted before they died, so I don't think I'm going to get much off them. I might get a few strange noises when I run this past it. So that'll plug in the line input of, of an, uh, any old amplifier. And that'll amplify the signal that this picks up. So I'll solder that on and we'll see how it goes. Quite a fun little toy. You can use this for all sorts of things. Yeah. Good old tape head. <laughs> Oh, the yours, the head's all done, ready to go. So that's what you can find, I've smashed up old bloody radios I've come across in the past. There's a couple of ones of them, I've popped a couple of these in the past, but I had one in the container. An old tape deck, which I left, I didn't pop. The head was still intact, so I took the head off that, and just use this one here on here. So we're gonna, yeah, have the popping front. I popped two of the heads at that time, on the very neck. And I knew I had one other one that haven't popped, and this is it here, so... Well, I won't pop this one. Maybe they'll come useful. So yeah, I've just got this idea. I've seen this video from Creo saying... Uh, Russia, the Ukrainian guys. You gotta watch their videos. They're, um... Uh, the Ukraine's, the Ukraine's version of photonic induction. They use their young, young, young friends, the two boys, and they're, um... They, uh... Just repaired TVs at home after school for people. So they're in the middle of a bloody civil war too in um in their uh, hometown of Lugansk in um Ukraine, so but, yeah, bloody poor guys are doing it tough. They're doing all these cool experiments that are bloody shorting out the mains and everything while there's bloody shells going off in their neighborhood. But yeah, that's where I got this idea from. So I'll probably take that off, snap that tape guide off, because I could use a head to run across some magnetic strips on things, unobstructed. I might bolt something on here, make a little stick to come off there, so I have a little handle and it supports it. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, let's give it a test. Hmm, what if I hook this thing up correctly? There must be a certain way I've got to hook this up, because it's not picking up much. Get this thing upside down. I like what a transformer is. No. I don't think I did it right. I mustn't have connected it right. That's weird. It usually works. Hmm. Maybe, uh, find a magnet, maybe. See if that does nothing. Alright, see if this works. It does! This is not even turned on, sounds like I think I've left there. See, nothing there. Pick out that magnet, look at that, eh?
There we are. Well, that's why they cord. It's power in they cord. No, not strong enough to pick that up. Not strong enough. Not going to read it. what's on that load wheel? No. It's not going to read what's on that load wheel. Guess it needs to be a strong magnet. Hmm. Guess it's not strong enough. Yeah. Not strong enough to pick up the fuel in there. Pass that magnet. You can sort of hear a whoop whoop as I wave it past that magnet. So it does work. I think it's just not sensitive enough to pick up anything. I'll have some more experimentation with it. Anyway, viewers. It definitely works. I've got to find a way to connect it though. I think that's the way I've got to connect it for which one's the um which way it goes. Whoa, whoa. The camera. I've got something there. What have I got? i got the white. Left channel is going to the red and the blue wire on his head. And the black's not connected. Yeah. Let's experiment. It's going to work sometime. All right, viewers. Pull up, I guess, the phone here. Let's see if I get the phone to do something. Google some random stuff. Let's have a look. Just go on random eBay, just do some browsing. For example, I go on eBay. Uh, we got here. Somebody picking anything up. I'll keep just do something on the phone or Wi-Fi. I'll experiment with it and see if I can get it to pick something up. But I get them somewhere, I think. The magnet's strong. I must have how sensitive this amplifier is. Yeah. I gotta experiment with this more. But it can work as an EMI probe, which would be really cool if I get this to work. So basically what I've done, this thing had a red, blue and black and white wire on it originally, and I just put some um, other wires on there. So that's this, this must be a recording and playback head, I think. This has got one bridged together for common. They're bridged together on this head. So, remember they, these did come out of an old dual, dual cassette deck. But the heads look the same. Got one on there, one track, and one track. This must be the playback head, because they're bridged and it just plays. And that's the one channel common, left and right channel. That's a two. Two to put the audio input and two audio output. Yeah, this has to be the recording head, I think. Anyway, of yours, I'll, um, it's got a little experiment to try. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.